All right, what's going on? Yep. How's it going? I'm coming at you with another abandoned video. Uh, you know, if you notice why I haven't been posting abandoned videos lately, I've just been going through a lot. I literally ran into a storm head first, and my life literally was going in every direction. So, but you know, but I'm here coming at you with another abandoned video. I'm here, I uh, have my little brother with me, easy. What's going on? Yep. What's up? Yeah. So, you know, he's here with me. We're spending a day together, me and him. Uh, I'm actually, right now, we're actually in Selden. Right now, I'm checking out an abandoned joint that was once a goat cart place, Italian Isis, and it had a batting cage. And right next door to it are the checkers. So, this place is hurting. And I mean, when I say it's hurting, I mean it is hurting. Bad. It is in bad shape. I mean, awful. It is in bad shape. Right? No, it is. Dude, this place is awful awful man it is beat up oh my goodness who knows what kind of artifacts we're gonna find over here but holy cow wow i mean when i say this place is bad i mean you can hear how i'm emphatically saying it, it is bad it is hurting badly oh my god i can't wait to see what this place looks like i gotta you know um i'm gonna go around over here real quick i parked inside you know this place has literally been closed i want to say over 15 years if that I don't know. But I know I came here years ago. This used to be called Grand Prix Family Entertainment Center uh, in Selden. Uh, you know, it had go karts, it had a batting cage, it had Italian ices here. And like I said before, right here next door, if I have access to that, I'll try to see if I can get in there. But there's also a checkers. This whole area, this whole piece of land is completely desolated, it's completely beaten. Beaten and battered as if you saw something like that came out of World War, World War II out of a war zone. It's freaking horrific, right? Dude, this place is bad, bro. It's beaten bad, right? No, it is. Horrifically. So, let's get out of the card. Let's get our ugly mugs off the camera, like Wally says. <laughs> that's what Wally B, that's what Wally B26 always tells us, man, on, the, on his videos. Well, what are we waiting for? Let me get my ugly mug off the camera and let's go and check this place out. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love Wally B26, right? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, you ready to check the place out? Of course. Alright guys, we'll see you outside. Alright guys, so we made it outside. Look at this right here behind me. Look at this. Right there, look at this. There goes there goes the Italian ice. Right there. See? There goes the Italian ice right there, and then there goes the whole go-kart track and everything behind me. It also had batting cages too. There was also batting cages. I used to come here years ago. The batting cages were right here actually. Here. There goes my baby. There goes Shadow. Right here, right behind me, where you see those bushes, that's where the batter cages used to be. So, yeah, so, um, you know, me and Easy are gonna walk around over here. We're gonna check out what's going on and see what this place has to offer. Deteriorating,ly speaking. I don't know. We'll see what we find, right? Yeah. So, we'll try to be quick because it's been brought daily. I don't think the cops are, you know, gonna be much trouble because obviously this place is so beaten. I would imagine that the cops literally just gave up on being here. The way you see it, I mean, when I turn the camera around and I start recording, you're going to see exactly what I mean. You know, I mean, and right here behind me on the other side, right over here, there goes the checkers. Right there, there goes the checkers. Right behind me. So, we'll see if we can do a couple of videos. I'm, I'm, I don't know if I have access to the checkers. He's, look, at, look at this guy, he's freaking rolling around a freaking shopping cart that we found in the parking lot. That must belong to the Home Depot next door to Independence Plaza. That's the Home Depot, right? Yeah, there's probably, there's probably some homeless dude probably took it from the, because next door at the Independence Plaza, next door to the shopping center, and they have a, uh, a Home Depot, and that's obviously, that's where it came from. Uh, all right, well, anyway, I'm going to see if I could um, try to do as much as this as I can, because this place is bad. It's beaten. It is freaking horrible. It's in bad shape. So let's see what happens. Hopefully, I have access to the checkers, but if not, you know, I'll see if I can uh, work my way around it. But it's broad daylight, so I don't want to spend too much time here. But like I said, this place is beaten up so bad that I would assume the cops gave up on trying to come here. Because this place is literally deliberately... Not... Like, it's literally obliterated to the T. It's just... Mind-blowing how crazy it looks. So, I mean, let's go and check it out and see what happens. Ready? Right, let's go. See, right there, that's where the batting cages were. Right there. You can even see all the ball machines right underneath the tent over there. Let's see if I can zoom in. Yeah, you see that green tent? That's where the ball shooters used to be for the batter cage. The batter cage was right over here. That was easy. Check it out. 
Italian ices. Ooh. I would assume that this was done years ago because look, look at all the broken glass over here. Look at all of that. I would assume that this was done years ago. Look how deteriorating all the wood looks. I mean, just look at this. This is like really like deteriorating. Look at this. Oh, wow. They still have all the flavors of the Italian ices. Wow. Look at this. Italian ice. Wow. This is awesome. Look at this. Selden specialty drinks. Did they got anything interesting? Four fifty. Wow. Too bad stuff like that don't cost like that anymore. Look at this. Selden Chino, creamy cappuccino, Italian ice, and soft ice cream blended with milk, then topped with whipped cream and chocolate syrup. Mm. Oh, that sounds amazing. Bahama Rush, a cool tropical blend of orange, pineapple, and coconut Italian ices and soft ice cream blended with milk. Then top with whipped cream and pineapple chunks. The Choconut. Creamy coconut Italian ice and chocolate soft ice cream blended with milk. Then top with whipped cream and chocolate syrup. Creamsicle. Orange cream delight Italian ice and soft ice cream blended with milk and then top with whipped cream and a cherry. Oh my goodness. The... I'm sorry, I just had to car truck it because there was all there was a homeless man that was just sitting there. So I had to go car track, but he he, he he means no harm. He's he's just leaving now. He waved at us, so everything's okay. Okay, where was I leaving off? Okay, let's continue. The Grand Prix. Create your own. Choose your favorite Italian ice flavor and soft ice cream. Then it's blended with milk, topped with whipped cream and a cherry. The mochaccino, creamy cappuccino Italian ice and chocolate soft serve ice cream with blended milk. Then top with whipped cream and chocolate syrup. The last one, the peanut butter and jelly, PB and J. Creamy peanut butter and jelly, Italian ice, soft with soft serve ice cream, blended with milk, then top with whipped cream and peanut butter sauce. Oh my god! Oh, this sounds amazing. Let me check out the other stuff over here. Signature Sundays. Listen, man, where are you ever gonna find right now with the economy and everything and all the inflation going on? Where are you ever gonna find anything that costs six dollars? That is a good freaking bargain. Look at a Butterfinger, fudge brownie, marshmallows, M&M's, peanut butter, snicker bars, strawberry nut. I mean, wow. Look at this. Oh my God, yes. Waffle bowl Sunday for $5. Look at how cheap everything used to be back then. Wow. A large for $6.50. That is insane. It looks like it's $650. Look, they forgot the decimal. So it looks like it says $650. <laughs> Yo, but seriously, this is awesome, man. This is really freaking cool. There's the Italian ice sign over there. Wow, this is the prices on here from years ago was absolutely is absolutely astonishing. All right, here we go, guys. Check it out. Ooh. Okay, so right here in this building, you see this building right over here. This building right here used to be the arcade. This used to be the arcade over here. They had some arcade games. Here's a go, and look, look at this. Family special, Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Three go-kart tickets and 10 arcade tokens for $12 a person. Family special, 25 go-kart ticket for 100 bucks, cash or charge. The arcade used to be right in here in this building. This was the arcade, uh, this is where the arcade was. There goes the old go-kart track over here. This is the go-kart track. Holy hell, look at this. And here we are, guys. We made it to the batting cage. Here's the old batting cage. Look at this. You find anything interesting? But holy cow, this is it, guys. Look at this. Wow. And you know what? I've always wanted to do a video here, too. I have always wanted to do a video here at this place. But I just never came around to it. I know a long time ago... Wally did a video of an entertainment center, a family entertainment joint with, uh, it was mini golf and I think a video arcade and go-karts, something similar. Look at this, look at all the, look at, just like, look at, look at, like, look at all the vegetation and all the weeds growing all over this batting cage. Wow. This is insanity. Well, somebody wrote explicit words on the on the chalk here on the pavement. I don't want to show that on camera. I don't want my video to get demonetized. But uh, to put it into perspective, somebody put spray paint on the floor and they dropped an F bomb. 
So I'm not gonna show that on camera. But uh, this is the batting cage, guys. Look how freaking big this thing was too. I had a lot of memories here. I'm just trying to keep myself distant from the trees and vegetation because I don't want to get poison ivy just in case there's poison ivy back there. Because Ezekiel right in front of me, uh, a couple of days ago, he got hit with poison ivy on his leg. So, but he's doing okay now. Wow! Wow! Look at all the ball dispensers! Yo! This is sick! Look at all the ball dispensers! Look at these! The ball shooters! Oh, this is awesome! Wow! This is sick! Whoa! Check it out! Look at this! Look at this! Whoa, they even have the original circuit boards. Wow, this is awesome. Dude, this is pretty freaking cool. Aren't you glad we came here? Wow, look at this. Hold on, Ooh, let me get under here. Do they? Where are they? I don't see them. Oh, I see them. You should try to go in and see if you can grab it. It's, I mean, the, the hole is not even that deep. It's really small. If you're tall enough, you can pull yourself out of there. Okay. Look at this. This is freaking awesome, guys. Wow. I mean, I literally feel like I'm on... <laughs> I don't even know what to say right now. I don't even know how to describe the feeling of excitement that I feel right now. What does this say? It's all the speeders. Yeah, the green light, the red lights. This is freaking awesome. I mean, look at this. Look at these guys. Like, look, look at all this. Look at all the ball dispensers. Look at everything. This is awesome. Wow. This is freaking amazing. And like I said, I've always wanted to do a video here, but I've never came around to it. This is freaking sick. I love this. I can't go any deeper here, but this is wow. Look at this, man. I mean, I'm glad I came, honestly. I've always wanted to do a video here, but I just never knew what stopped me from going here. Is there anything in there? But those are the original circuit boards that activated the machines. You put your token in, and then they had a sensor here. They had a sensor here when you put your tokens in and then once the sensor reads that you put in the token the machines up here will start going and all the balls will start dropping and they will start firing away at you and all you have to do is hit it wow pretty cool huh yeah oh man this is this is awesome all righty let's continue wow i mean this is this place is really, and I mean really decaying. I'm gonna check out the goat car track. Wow. Put my shades back on. I had to take my glasses off for a second. And I couldn't see exactly what was going on around here. But if, I think this was the old arcade building over here. Yeah, this is where the arcade once was. That's where you picked up the food and that's where you had the merchandise. With all the, um, all the whatchamacallit. The Italian ice is that's where you would buy your video game tokens, arcade tokens, and all the, you know, go-kart tokens or whatever, batting cage tokens. And the, uh, the arcade entrance was right over here. This is where the arcade used to be. Looks like somebody tried to break in because I see the door is like cracked, the gate is cracked open right down the bottom. Let's check this out. Oh, wow, wow, this is awesome. Wow, look at this. Oh, maybe this was the arcade. Honestly, I don't know. Actually, no. This is what this was a storage unit. Uh, I guess whatever go kart was broken down. I guess this is where they would store them and repair them. What was that? What? Is there anything underneath there? You should take a look. From what I see, it doesn't look like there's anything underneath there. But, uh, 
probably just like a little shack. Oh, all right, that's that. Let's go and check out the go kart track. See what's going on over there. It's pretty insane, man. I love this. I mean, just like look at all the graffiti. I mean, if you see the graffiti, it looks like this. It's quite obvious, bro. Like, like seriously, like think about that for a second. You see, you see how bad that graffiti is. You see that, right? So obviously, if the graffiti is that bad, it obviously means the cops gave up on taking this place. They gave up on protecting this joint. Look at this road course information. There we go. Look at this. Pretty amazing. Let's go. Let's check this out. Wow. Look at this. This is awesome. Wow. He's going to go that way. I'm going to go this way. This is really insane, man. This is real. Like, this is like a real unique find. This is incredible. I used to come here when I was a little kid, man. I used to come here a lot. I used to come here frequently with me and my brothers back in the day. Back when we were young and free. And as you saw the signs of the Italian ice cream, uh, the Italian ices and the food over there, the ice cream and, and all that stuff. As you saw the signs of the ice cream and Italian ices, everything was cheaper back then. Six dollars for a Sunday. Where do you even see that anymore? You don't even see that anymore like the way you used to at all everywhere you go now you literally gotta take a dookie and hope that money comes out of your ass excuse my language but it's just the truth literally everywhere you go today in terms of pricing you literally have to take a dookie and hope that dollar bills come right out your ass it's just the truth man it's inflation man it's been taking over oh shoot look at this wow that is a giant limb. Holy cow. Damn. That looks awful. Yikes. I'm literally standing on the very top of the go-kart track. Like I'm like on the very top, like where you started. It's just like this, this right here, this area over here, this would be the first turn. You'd make the first turn and then you work your way up and it just go around and then it just keeps going. Look at it. They even still have all the original tires to avoid you from getting into an accident. And injuring yourself. Look at this giant tree branch. This giant whole tree that freaking fell through the whole crevice. Wow. This is crazy. Find anything interesting over there? The whole place is literally just falling apart, man. This is awesome. Wow. And like I said, if you saw the graffiti over there, if you see how bad it is, that should clearly tell you and obviously tell you that the police and the cops have given up on taking care of this place. Because you're not going to see graffiti like that constantly and nobody's going to take accountability for it. So if nobody is taking accountability for the amount of damage and the amount of spray paint and the amount of graffiti that has been done to this place, it's quite obvious that the police and the cops have given up on taking care of this place and protecting it, at least patrolling it too. There it goes, and this would be the end right here. So, you work your way around the go-kart track, and as the race continues, you go down this way. When the race was over, and the traffic, they had a traffic light over here. When the race was over, when the light was red, they would block this off over here with traffic cones. They had like a giant gate, and it had traffic cones. And it would block you off, and then you would have to go over here, and pull into your corrective lane, wherever they guided you, and then that would be it. Until you get off, and you go around again for another round. Oh, what's this? Oh, shit. Holy crap. Whoa. What's in here? It... Yo, just check. There ain't nobody in here, right? Okay, just making sure because I saw that guy over here before. But if there's a homeless person living over here, which I assume there is because look at all the junk here. Holy crap, a load of. Ay, Dios mío, mira esto. There's a what? Oh. 
Wow, I mean, look at this. This is an old storage. Look at it. They even have an old car seat. Look at that old car seat. Wow. Obviously, this is somebody's living home. So, it's crazy, man. This is insane. Wow. This is crazy. And we've made it back around the go-kart track. Wow. Yo, you know, you know what would be pretty awesome? You probably get caught by the cops. You know, you you know, you know, like if we actually did this, we'd probably get caught by the police. But just imagine if we had our own go-karts and we just did our own races around here. <laughs> but you probably you'd probably have a chance of getting caught by the cops. Because if the cops actually drive by here and if they actually see somebody racing and they can hear the engines, you're probably gonna get caught. Look, you see what I mean? Look, look at all of this. I'm sorry about the profanity and all the like funny imaging. But I mean if this is gonna look like that. It's quite obvious that the police and the you know security and the cops or whatever have stopped caring about this place and have stopped patrolling it. It's quite obvious. But you know. And we're back to square one. We made it. Wow. This is be this right here would be all the lanes for the go-karts. Pretty cool, man. It's pretty crazy. Yo, you want to see if we can check out the checkers? Let's let's see if we have access to it. Oh yeah, and and uh, regards to our shopping center. Uh oh, there goes a the cop. Uh oh. Yeah. No, there was just a cop that passed. But just as uh, when we were on our way here, I got a notification on um on the neighbors app. Uh, that there was a bad accident up the road on 97. Right up the road, right on Route 97 at Stony Brook and Nichols Road. There was a bad accident and they have that whole area closed off. There was actually police helicopters over here earlier, but there was a horrific accident over there by 97, right at the cutoff where it meets Nichols Road in 97, right by 347. And uh, they, was, they had police helicopters here before. They're gone now, but if they have police choppers out here for an accident that bad, it, Unfortunately, it's sad to say that somebody might have perished, but hopefully everybody's all right. So anyway, back to before. You see, you see that shopping cart right there, right? So it's orange. So there goes the Independence Plaza. There goes the shopping cart right there, right? And then boom, right there. There goes the Home Depot next door to the Independence Plaza. <laughs> all right, let's check this out. You want to see if we can check out the checkers? Let's go. It's definitely a hot one today. Yo, what time is it? It is 2.09. Okay. 2.19. Okay, so it's 2.20. Okay. All right, we, oh, I'm just keeping track of time because me and Easy, we, uh, me and Easy got to work soon. You know, like I said before, you may have heard in previous videos that I've done, but me and my brother have a business of junk removal. We don't only do junk removal. You know, we do a lot of things, you know, um, you know, we put down mulch, we take out all want the furniture that you need, we do clean outs, we do snow removals, we do everything. So if you want, just look it up on Google, Junk Monster LI. Me and my brother and we got this guy over here, three man crew, working up over here, you know what I mean? Let's see if we can get access to the check-ins. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we could get access over there. It doesn't look like we could get in there. Actually, wait, we might be able to. Hold on one second. Hold on, oh, 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 look at this. Wow. Yikes. Uh, it doesn't look like it, but I think the only way we could do this, yo, I think if we step over the fence, we could get in there, right? We could step over the fence. Yeah, but I don't think he's gonna be around though. He left. He was going probably going to the accident site. Ready? Yeah. Right. Try to squeeze my fat ass in here. Ah, there we go. Got it, guys. Be careful. Here we go. 
All right, here we are, guys, the checkers. We're able to get access. Checkers, burgers, fries, and killers. You know, I wonder what happened. It was supposedly, supposedly there was a rumor going on. There was some kind of story going on that there was an affair with one of the owners. Whoever it was that owned like the Checkers franchise here on Long Island, there was some kind of a rumor or some kind of a story that there was some kind of an affair that was going on and every Checkers out here on Long Island closed down, including this one. They also closed the one on Rakakama, Brentwood, Central Islip. I think either Master People or Linden Hurst was the other one and there was one in Deer Park. Man. So this obviously probably closed during COVID. You can see face masks and maintain social distancing. We're sorry for the inconvenience. Rest of you closes after 10 p.m. Well, it's not it's not temporarily closed no more. Now it's permanently closed. Let's see the inside. Spicy chicken sandwich, chicken bites and fries box. Wow. This is pretty freaking cool. Oh man, a cheesecake sundae. Oh my goodness. Oh, come to daddy. Milkshakes. Oh, ice cream cones. Funnel cakes. Oh my god, I'm dying inside. Fan of slushies. Big surf slushies. Oh my god, I'm dying inside, man. Oh my goodness. Wow, I am dying. Oh. This right here was the drive through. Oh, they smashed out the drive through window. Jesus. Let's see if we can see anything in here. Can you? Uh, no, I don't think so. Wow. They smashed out every window imaginable. Holy cow, Pollutus. Look at this. They even smashed out the window here. They smashed out the checker side. TH. Sorry, I just had to do that. <laughs> like Wally B26 always says in his videos, if you don't make fun of yourself, you're not living life as fun as you should be. <sighs> you're not having as much fun as you should be. So this is the drive through area over here. Look at this. Pretty crazy, man, look at this. Oh, wow. This would be the speaker box right here. Right here would be, right here would be the speaker box where you would place your order. And this would be the ordering screen over here. Wow. Crazy, man, this place is beat up. Yo, uh, the drive through window's open, I'm not gonna lie, I can go inside the building right now. Did you grab something? Yeah. What are those? Oh, those are chicken bite boxes. Oh, snap, wow, those are chicken bite boxes, wow. You, wow, so look, check it out. We Wow, he was able to grab two chicken bite boxes. There's the box where you would literally assemble to put the chicken bites and the french fries. Oh, snap. Wow. This had two, uh, this had two drive throughs right? Yeah, it did. See, I literally, we literally just hopped the fence. Well, literally, we could have just walked through the shopping center right here. There's a little crevice right over there. Right there. Duh. Uh, to avoid getting caught by the police and security we're probably just gonna like he said before if a cop sees you jumping over the fence over there you can get caught but to avoid all of that possibility going on we're probably just gonna go through that way when we're done there's the trash area over there i'll go over there in a second what'd you say it was open drive through window squeeze in there over there oh shoot oh look at this they beat up the speaker box over here wow yeah they definitely beat up the speaker box over here wow Damn. Ooh. Shoot. And Wally B26 always does in this video. I'm freaking hungry, man. I'm starving. And they have all those signs staring at me in the face. Cheesecake sundaes and slushies. Fanta slushies and all the chicken bites and all the french fries. And I can't have none of that. I'm hangry. Ugh. Just be careful, man. Oh, my goodness. Whoa, look at this. Whoa! Oh, sorry. Wow, look at this. This is the kitchen, guys. Oh, look over there, my former job. DoorDash, there's a DoorDash sticker. Wow. 
Ooh, it smells in here. I smell mold. Wow, look at this. This is pretty cool. Oh, somebody knocked out the umbrella over here. Whoa. Yeah, somebody knocked out one of the dining umbrellas. It was right over here. It looked like somebody either knocked it down. Either somebody could have knocked it over or it could have been the wind. Lord only knows. And there goes the sign this sign. Like Wally says, the sign this sign. Right there. Wow. That's crazy. Let's see what happens. Oh, I thought that was going to open. The door jarred, but it didn't pull loose. That's pretty cool. I want to jump in there. Does it go any further? If I were you, I'd be very careful because we're right now, right now we're in broad daylight. So if I were you, I'd be very careful. Especially with the police and one just literally just passed by here, but I would assume he was going to that accident site. Oh my god, it's more than cat piss. Oi. Oi. What are you nervous? Oh, I don't want someone to see me. I want to jump in there if I can. That's true. Watch. You're, you're tall. It's probably going to be harder for you. Unless I can jump in there. You want to jump in there? I'll, I'll, I'll try. I'll hold the camera for you. I'll hold the camera then. Doing this for you guys. I'm risk, I'm risk getting caught. I'm risk busting my ass. Doing this for you guys. Man, no worries, man. We'll run away. It doesn't open any farther. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. <laughs> got it. There we go. <laughs> You got my order, right? My order, right? All right, you're gonna be my lookout. I got you. Okay, okay. All right, guys, we made it inside the checkers. Oh, this is a security camera up there, but all the electricity is off. I'm just keeping an eye on all corners. I don't know if there's anybody living in here. I don't know what's going on in here. Sorry if I'm talking bad, but I'm nervous. Oh, look at this! They got all the fry containers. They got all the fry containers, large, medium, wow. Wow, this is awesome, look at this. Check this out, guys. Wow, I'm inside in abandoned checkers. Yo, grab me a burger, would ya? Pour would me you? a drink. <laughs> <laughs> look at this, they got the fry containers and everything. Look at the checkers, look at it, they got the fry containers. Oh, this is freaking sick. This is awesome. Look at all the deep fryers. Let me go, far, go further in the kitchen. I'll, I'll keep a lookout. Okay. Oh, holy hell. There's a lot of freaking mosquitoes over here, but it's okay. They're not going to damage me. Wow, look at this, guys. Look at this. This is freaking cool. Look, there goes the old door there, sticker. They used to work with DoorDash, but now I'm with Uber Eats, so... Unfortunately, I got laid off from DoorDash due to budget cuts. Me and 1,500 other people. Wow, look at this. They got all the sauce packets here. What is this? What kind of, what kind of sauce is Sweet and sour sauce. Wow, look at this. This is freaking awesome. They got masks over here. Holy cow, this is freaking cool. Look, this place is falling apart. Yo, guys, did you ever think that we would be inside in abandoned checkers? Look at all this stuff. I'm making sure there's nobody in here, but I got my fist up just in case. I'm fighting off all these damn mosquitoes over here. Look at this. Look at freaking this. Whoa. All right, I'm here, guys. I'm here. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm here. I'm just making sure that there's nobody back here because there's a shovel back in. And God forbid somebody could back here. I'm going to smack somebody right outside the damn head. That was the back exit over there. Wow, I'm actually inside an abandoned freaking checkers. They have all the restaurant equipment up there and everything too. Look at this. This is awesome. I'm inside an abandoned freaking checkers. Wow. Okay. I actually got the creeps. So I'm going to get the hell out of here. 
because it's broad daylight and I don't want to run the risk of getting caught by the cops. I don't think we will, but you know, if it's broad daylight, but this is, look at this. This is awesome right here, look. Look at this. I think this is where they made the smoothies or whatever it was, but they have flavors like it. They had the, the slushies, look. Fruit punch, blue raspberry, watermelon, strawberry, mango. And I think number eight was pineapple. Wow. But this is cool. I'm inside an abandoned freaking checkers. Look, they still have all the boxes that you could assemble to put all the chicken bites and the french fries. Wow. And look, here go the soda dispensers. Coke, Diet Coke, water, raspberry, nest tea, Fanta, gold peak tea, high C, flash and fruit punch, pib, bangs, root beer, Sprite, and Coke. Wow. This is freaking awesome. Yo. Did you ever think that we'd be inside an abandoned checkers? Yeah, where's my root beer, man? Get my damn cheeseburger. <laughs> You're taking a page out of Wally's book, huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, just turn the camera off. All right, guys, I'm gonna try to get out of here. Hold on, hold on. Stand Yo, by. this is a good thumbnail. Oh, you're good. Right, you're good. Okay. Woo. Woo. Holy go. cow. Wow. <laughs> wow, guys. We did two videos in one. Literally, we did an abandoned checkers and abandoned go-kart family entertainment center with a batting cage. Whoa. That was cool, right? That was. It was. <laughs> Alright, we're probably gonna get out of here, but we're gonna go through the back over here. We're gonna go to the shopping center. What the heck is this? Yeah, it was. It was probably part of the ordering screen if I had to get. Let me see. Turn that over. It looks like a smoke detector. Ah, uh, yeah, it was probably one of the meters from the side. Somebody smashed out over here on the side. Somebody smashed out one of the meters. This was the back exit over here. I think. Damn, they even smashed out all the squares. Look at it, they smashed out all the checker squares. Wow. Right here, that was part of the meters. See? Look, that was part of the meter and somebody smashed it and they took it. And they just left it there. Why? I have no idea. This is the meter here and that's the gas meter right over there. Right there. Turn it around. Because, yeah, don't think it's like a... Yeah, but I, I think it would say the logo, though, on the, on the, on the rim of the hat. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. We're going to head out of here. We're, um, we're just going to go through the exit here by the shopping center. Because we came in through the fence over there, but my stupid ass didn't think to come around the shopping center and come in through the back here without getting caught by security. Not that it's going to matter, but we're in, broad, we're in broad daylight. So, oh, before we go, let me check out the trash area. Let's see. Oh, they got a giant truck clearance sign, a car clearance sign right there. Look at that. Wow. That was really something. And here we go. And there goes the trash area. Ooh. Whoa. I walked right face first into a spider web. <laughs> Uh, there seems to be nothing interesting there. Just a bunch of weed and vegetation. Nah, there's nothing in there. Alright guys, so there goes the abandoned checkers. We literally just did two videos in one. We did the abandoned checkers, and then right down the other side, behind the trees, we did the abandoned go-kart, batting cage, family entertainment center. We literally did two videos in one. And now we're just gonna go through here. We're gonna exit right through the Independence Plaza and the shopping center. Wait till the traffic clears. And we made it, guys. Independence Plaza. Boom. We got it. What do you think? You had fun? No, I had fun, yeah. <laughs> especially you trying to, especially you watching me try to not to bust my ass going inside the drive through window. Jesus Christmas. But well, we did it, guys. Abandoned checkers. Abandoned Grand Prix Family Entertainment Center. Pretty cool, man.
All right, we're gonna escape out of here. It's the Independent Shopping Center. So they got a pretty good pizzeria over there too, called Cafe Amici. They're really good. They've got a pretty good sushi place over there. Over here, behind this tree right here, there's a Target. So there's a rent kitchens over there. So right now we're in Selden. In case you're wondering, we're in Selden. So, you know, so. All right, guys, we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna sign off and we'll do the outro. See you guys soon. See you guys soon. All right, guys, so we're back inside the car right now. Get these easy, almost passed on. This freaking guy, man. <laughs> Listen, man, right now, you know, we live on Long Island. He lives in Brentwood, I live in Smithtown. So, listen, I'm gonna tell you right now, man. You know, you think this is bad. This is nothing. Right now, it's only 88 degrees. It feels like it's over 100. Try going to Texas. Wally has gone to Texas 100,000 times. And he said that the weather out there is not compared to the weather out here on the East Coast. Wally is actually a Pittsburgher. He's from Pittsburgh. So he lives out in Pennsylvania. Um, but he says that when he went to Texas during the summertime, he said the weather out there does not compare to the weather out here because over there is 20,000 times hotter. And I'm actually going out to Texas soon too. I'm going out to Texas on July 27th. Uh, my cousin's getting married on July 29th. So I'm leaving out of here and I'm flying to Dallas, Fort Worth on the 27th. And I'm coming home on July 30th. But according to my cousin who lives over there, she lives in San Angelo. And according to her, she said right now the weather out there in Texas is over 120. And I laughed because I love the heat. I absolutely love the heat. I love the hot weather. People are saying, oh, no, but I don't like it. You know, you, you, you know, it's too hot for me. It's not comfortable. Lightweights. Lightweights. I love summertime. I wish my birthday was not summer. Unfortunately, it's not. You know, I'm, uh, I'm a winter baby. I'm, uh, my birthday is on uh, March 6th. And this kid over here, he, he's right before Halloween. He's in the fall time. He's October 26th. October. 26th, right? 26th. Yeah. yeah, so, you know, he's got fall. I got winter. You know, it's whatever. But at least he gets to enjoy his birthday outside somewhat. Because mine is completely the winter. I'm in March. I'm on March 6th. So, it's still kind of cold out here on Long Island. But still, I love the weather, man. It, this weather actually, you know what? You were He wasn't born yet. He was born five years later. Five, four. Yeah, no, no. He was born five years later. But if a lot of you guys remember, next month is actually going to be 20 years. But that massive blackout that happened in 2003 when the grid failed on the Northeast region. It started in Ohio. Then it hit Michigan. Then it hit Ottawa. Then for some reason, it came all the way out here. What started in Ohio, Michigan, and Ottawa came all the way out here. Then it knocked out New York. It knocked out Pennsylvania. Knocked out Jersey. Knocked out Massachusetts. Knocked out Connecticut. Knocked out Toronto. Knocked out Hamilton. Within eight minutes, within between seven and eight minutes, over 55 million people lost power and 256 power plants went offline. On one of the hottest days of the entire summer, Thursday, August 14, 2003. I'm never gonna forget it. That was that was four years, four or five years before this kid was born. But I remember it. I was 10 years old, and it was hot. And exactly the way it feels today is exactly the way it felt that day. And with the increasing cost of everything going up right now, don't be surprised if the electric companies start getting cheap and if they, uh, they start cutting off power. And then we have another catastrophic blackout like the way we did 20 years ago. I'm just telling you, it's not impossible. It could happen because it's happened three times out here in New York. Three times. 1865 on November 9th, July 13th, 1977, and August 14th, 2003. Three times we have had a massive blackout here in the Northeast region. But out of those three, 2003 was the worst one. So listen, people are out here complaining about the heat, but you have seen nothing yet. Lightweights, right? You know, like I just said before, the way I said it. Lightweights. <laughs> But anyway, enough rambling on, man. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I got my little brother here with me, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. You know, I just I just noticed me and you are both wearing blue shades. <laughs> and the shades that I'm actually wearing, hold on, let me turn my head. You can see it right there on the side of my head. The shades that I'm wearing is complimentary of uh, Long Island MacArthur Airport. So shout out to Long Island MacArthur Airport for giving these to me. I actually got these uh, when I went to the air show uh, the Jones Beach Air Show back in May on Memorial Day weekend when I saw the Blue Angels and I saw the, uh, you know, uh, all the fighter jets, the F-15s, T-17s, really cool. So Long Island McCarthy Airport provided me the shades. So it's pretty cool. All right, guys. So me and Easy got to get going because we have to go to work. So we got to, we're actually here in Selden now, but we got to go back home 
and then we gotta come back to Southern because the job we're doing with my brother is actually here in Southern. So me and Easy are gonna sign off, we're gonna get out of here, but we hope you guys enjoy the video and I hope you guys enjoyed me trying not to bust my ass trying to get in and out of the checkers. I know he did, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so me and Easy are gonna sign out. Uh, we'll see you guys soon. I'll probably post a video on YouTube later on tonight. All right, so for Migs and Easy, we'll see you guys around. Bye, guys. Later.